municipal elections can be a litmus test of voter sentiment. They can indicate the degree of grassroots support for a party. Ignoring results is done at your political peril. In France, President Emmanuel Macron's La République en Marche party, or LREM, failed to convince voters it was the best choice at a local level. It didn't win a single major city in last month's vote. Instead, a green wave spread across places like Lyon, Bordeaux and Strasbourg. The Europe Ecologie Les Verts party, the Greens, won in some areas that traditionally belonged to the right. It was a strong showing for the party and its left-wing allies. The far-right Rassemblement National, the National Rally, claimed victory in the southern city of Perpignan. But overall, they didn't perform as well as they did in 2014. This year's vote came at a time when the country is still grappling with the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Turnout was at a record low. Only about four in 10 eligible voters took part in the second round. Boosting enthusiasm about the political process itself could prove to be an obstacle of its own. The day after the local elections, Macron unveiled fresh funding to help France move to a greener economy. L'État prendra toute sa part. C'est pourquoi, dès le plan de relance que nous sommes en train de préparer, 15 milliards d'euros supplémentaires sur deux ans seront injectés dans la conversion écologique de notre économie. He's previously signaled a shift to more environmentally friendly economic policies, but the timing is also key. He's reached a point in his presidency where he wants to refresh his mandate ahead of the 2022 presidential elections. His first years in office have been marked by social unrest. Macron's hard push for widespread economic reforms led to months of anti-government protests and ushered in the Yellow Vest movement. The president himself became a target of much of the anger. He says the period changed him. Macron's now hit the reset button with a cabinet reshuffle, replacing the popular prime minister, Edouard Philippe, with technocrat Jean Castex. It's not an unusual move. In France, the PM is appointed by the president. At the top of this new agenda, rebuilding the economy in a post-coronavirus world. That will be a major factor in whether Macron claims another term as leader. Natalie Perhonen, The Newsmakers.